All right, guys. Hope all is well, everybody. Um, I'm building a six feet uh stand for my six feet long uh, aquarium. Um, I have a question. Um, this is the design right here. Okay, in the back, we well, can see all my tools. Excuse the mess as well. I'm doing a, uh, I'm reinforcing each corner with two by sixes. The stand was built by two by sixes, but I reinforced the sides with two by fours. Okay, on the bottom is gonna be my sump. Right, so I'm working on that bottom portion right now. But I have a question. On a six feet long tank, I put a brace in the back, as you can see. That's the brace in the back. So this is the back of the stand. And as it goes along, you can see all the rest of the joints. I'm still fine tuning it though. I'm sanding it down. You know, and I was sanding it down with this piece right here, which I put on my drill. To get everything sanded down, so I use that to sand. But uh, that's the, st the tank stand build. Like I said, once again, excuse the mess. I'm in my kitchen, and um, that's how it's looking so far. You know, excuse uh, the rough look, but I'm still sanding it down. And that's the look from the side. I'm still doing the panels for the bottom for the um the 40 gallon breeder sump. And that's that's the back. Now this is the front. Like I said, once again, that's how the front's gonna look. I'm swing right to the left. I only put a brace in the middle. But I wanna ask you guys, should I put another brace in the front, left and right corner? Because if I do, I'm not gonna have no space for my sump to put it in. But that's the tank stand right there. And um, that's how it looks so far. Like I said, once again, excuse the mess. And the tank, let me turn some light on so I can see the tank, guys. I said, once again, excuse the mess. That's going to be the tank right there. I painted the back, you know, and I got a great deal on this tank. I don't let go. At least this is going to be, excuse the mess. And that's going to be. I got two of these in the back, so I just bought the uh, supplies. There's one there for the left, and one there for the right. This, I could pan out, then we could see the tank itself. I painted the back black. And that's the tank itself, you know, right there, and inside and everything. And that's the tank that's gonna go on the stand itself. Let me pan back out, that's the tank. Uh, so, one more question. Is I coming back, excuse the mess. That's fine. Going down my long hallway, excuse the mess, and I'm gonna show you guys my the sump that I built. Let me turn on the lights. You guys probably getting a, a view of my apartment, but excuse the mess. Now this is the sump. This is the uh, the sump that I built right there. So you notice I built the sump, and I got a J-Bone DC T8000, and I just put on the um. The baffles in. I gotta put in the rest of the baffles. I think I'm just gonna go with this design because I'm gonna put another baffle here so I can just raise up the water height when I want to. Set that up. Felt the sock on each side. Like I said, once again, excuse the mess. And that's gonna be the sump. It's a 40 gallon braider. And that's gonna be going on the bottom. Okay. Oh, this is my quarantine. I had a PJ Cardinal that came down with a fungus. So I had him in there, so he's in quarantine. So I think I'm gonna put him back into the uh, the community tank, but he's doing pretty good now. And also I got, I think this is a starfish right there. I'm not really sure. You really can't see, but it's a starfish. Part of it's missing, <laughs> I don't know. And they came my line block, you know. That's my project, guys. But I need some tip. Should I put that? Uh, and might as well see my lizard too. I have a lizard as well. Uh, I don't know where he's at. He's in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. And there goes my lizard. See him chilling right there? Okay, I'll see you guys. He's in there chilling. Yeah, I love animals. Anyway.